Hi guys, so today I want to show you my all natural pre poo using aloe vera to get nice and moisturized curls. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel so if you know my name is Afrolisha and over here natural hair is the topic so my hair has been in this disguise bun for like almost a week straight I need to show you guys my updated pre poo routine it's very much inspired from natural 85 and normally I focused on my hair she taught me a way to focus also on your scalp we're kind of doing the same pre poo I did just with the extra step so first things first I just want to show you how I make my pre poo which is like 110% natural <laughs> I'm sticking to my normal pre poo just using oil. This is my hair. This is what we're starting with. Extremely dry and like hard and like. Ugh. But I also want to come back to you guys and show you how my hair is actually looking after the pre poo. But I actually want to try and show you guys a close up so you can really know. Like, firstly, my hair is super tangly. Secondly, my hair is really undefined. Um, kind of dry like look at my ends look at my hair and I did a fresh cut like two weeks ago so my ends are not damaged it just looks very dry because it is but I'm sure a proper wash day will bring this hair back to normal so first things first is separate your hair in about like four sections Ugh, my hair is so tangled I don't think I'll get to put a comb through my ear rattle comb so we're just gonna finger part <music> how tangly my hair actually gets because i don't know i post a lot of like when my hair is fully done and then people think my hair is so easy it's it's not my aloe vera is like two sections so you take one and what i will start with is take all your hair in your hand and start at the like the perimeter of everything and look at that slime going on I try to wrap it like 
into the pausing and everywhere. In a moment, we will scrub it in. I get my edges or so. When you see the aloe vera getting like this, like a bit dry, you can get your knife and kind of just slice into it like that, like randomly. If you have nails, you can do this with your nails. I don't have nails, so. And you'll see the mucus start coming out all from overs again. And yeah, that's how you like use the piece completely up. So once I went like around the perimeter, there will be some pieces of aloe in your hair like wash it out, you're gonna go into a wash day so it's fine. Now I will start parting my section and I'll go in between. kind of like saturated all up in my scalp all up on the perimeter of this section so now is where the oil comes in handy so you just want to dip your fingers in the oil and then you also want to massage around the perimeter massage your scalp you kind of want to massage the aloe vera and you want to massage the oils then into your scalp So this is not only going to moisturize your hair when it's pre-pooing and like keep the moisture in the hair but what it's also going to do is stimulate hair growth, stimulate green blood to the scalp and yeah it's just a great way to pre-poo your hair before you go into a wash day. What I will do is then take my ends right on the end and like just a little bit of aloe, I don't really apply a lot of aloe to my ends. And now I'll rub oil in between my ends. And this will go down the shafts of my hair and on my ends. Now what I'll do is kind of like finger detangle, or not finger detangle, but like just make sure that my hair can just be pulled apart. I'm not going in with any comb or anything, but I just try and make sure that my hair is detangled as much as I can right now because you know there's certain times when your edges can't be detangled with oil so anyway I just want to show you the whole section from root to top it's very very moisturizing so now what I will do is I'll take this section and I'll put it off in one big chunky twist if your hair doesn't want to stay in twist you can put on put it in a braid it is easier for me to have my end braids and when I come to my ends more oil and there we go so now we go on to the next piece y'all guys this is actually so soothing there's like was a part here at the back of my head where I was like my head was itching I think it's because my hair was just so dirty I rubbed it now with this aloe vera and it feels so nice like it's like it cools that sensation of irritated scalp down back ones and I'll be back to kind of show you guys how my hair is looking so it's been about like almost an hour normally my pre poo stays on my hair like until the next day but I'm kind of in a rush to wash my hair so I just want to kind of show you guys how it's looking now um much more moisturized than before obviously so let me just show you i would normally leave it in these twists and then go straight into showering if like but yeah today i just want to show you guys but anyway it's just really really moisturized i don't know how to explain it it's almost like 
over moisturizer now when you shampoo your hair it like takes off 90 percent of those oils but still leaves your hair not stripped so that is kind of why i always do a pre-poo because i know i don't want my hair like to feel stripped so the pre-poo stops that completely from happening but yeah that is how my hair is looking after the pre-poo but now i'm gonna go into shampooing my hair and then i'll show you guys how it's looking so this is how my hair is looking straight after my wash day and my curls are nice very moisturized i hope you try it guys let me know if you like it 